fell downtown under rainy skies. Nearly 2,000 people attended the service, including approximately 300 members of law enforcement agencies from around the country. News 4 Tucson's Lupita Maria was also at today's ceremony. She joins us live now with more. Lupita. John, thousands of people filled this parking lot here, and they were here to pay their respects to a man they call a hero and a warrior. It's all about honor and respect. That's the motto of the Patriot writers who lined the entrance for Deputy U.S. Marshal Chase White. Robbie Campbell, along with the other Patriot writers, braved the wind, the cold, and the rain. Lieutenant Colonel Chase White gave the ultimate sacrifice when he was working for the U.S. Marshal's Office, but he was also in the United States Air Force. We wanted them to know that a whole nation cares. That's why we're out here today. These are photos the United States Marshal Service provided the media from inside the convention center. Some of the speakers, a friend who served with him in the Air Force, to his mother, a minister. She thanked everyone for their kindness and support. She told the other deputy marshals who were with her son the night he was shot and killed, she knows they did everything to help her son. And she also said she was glad that the man who killed her son was brought in alive. She said that man had been failed so many times and that we need to do something about mental health. White's wife and four children also spoke at the service and the wife said that the three years that her husband was in the U.S. Marshal Service were the happiest he'd ever been. Reporting live from downtown, Lupita Murillo, News for Tucson.